in today's video, I've got some new toys to show you. Uh, I've got a Renogy DC-DC charger with integrated solar charging. I've got a power box. It's a box I've built to uh, compress all of the components I had kind of spread around and put them into a nice small volume. Uh, it's, a, it's a metal box. It's ventilated. It's safe. Uh, it's about as small as I could make it. And in these minivan campers, you, every cubic inch is precious. So this, uh, this helps free up some space that might otherwise have been uh, kind of difficult to use. Uh, I've also added a dash cam. So uh, let's go on a tour. Now coming inside the van, underneath the bed platform, I've got my small power box. Okay, over on the right side, we have a view of the power box down here, uh, the inverter, and in back is the uh, AGM deep cycle battery. This power box has the Renogy DC-DC charger uh, coming around this side. Uh, this is the business end with all of the input and output wires. Uh, it's, it's a little messy right now. I intend to clean things up a little bit. But inside, the uh, charger on the right, um, the fusing and bus bars and, uh, and so on, uh, takes up the left side of the box. Uh, things are as close as I could get them, uh, but there's uh, sufficient space between everything to, to be safe. But let's take a tour and we'll go to the bench for that. In terms of overall size, uh, this thing is uh, 14 inches long this way. It's 8 inches tall and 10 inches deep. Uh, it weighs 22 pounds. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the inside. So I pop open the latches here. And... Okay, uh, looking down from the top, starting uh, up on the upper left, uh, it's almost buried, but there's a shunt for the battery monitor to take its signals from. There's a negative bus bar here. There's a positive bus bar here. Uh, main fuse for the house battery. I think it's 200 amps. Um, and that's, that's connected by a solid copper bar to the positive bus bar here. Uh, th this is the uh, output fuse for the Renogy uh, and it's a 40 amp fuse and that then supplies to the positive bus bar. And then down here is a, a smaller fuse block for DC load circuits like lighting and the refrigerator. On the back side, uh, there's a couple circuit breakers for input lines. Uh, on the bottom from the alternator coming in, I've got a 50 amp circuit breaker, which I use as a shut off too. When I wanna shut everything off, I've got shut offs here for uh, the alternator in, the solar panel here is coming in through a 20 amp circuit breaker. I've got a separate house battery shut off off to the side. And what else? Oh, I do also have a shut off by the uh, starter battery up front in the vehicle for uh, killing the line to from the alternator back to here. So in back, Some of the other work I did this year was uh, I moved the deep cycle battery further forward and now I have room to put this refrigerator lengthwise. That gives me uh, more space options, more usable space uh, on both sides of the refrigerator. Uh, now I also have room to for long items like skis and poles. Uh, so I do plan to hit the road in a few days to do some skiing out in Colorado. Uh, now I got a place to put the skis. Do this side too. This is a little more busy with the wiring, so I'll just probably uh, put some 
items that don't get used very often, but it's, a, it's easy to get to from either side. Okay, so one of the other changes I made was to add a dash cam. Uh, it's wired, just tucked in around the trim and plugs into the cigarette lighter. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. So I think we're all set for hitting the road for a few weeks. We're gonna uh, head out west for a big loop uh, through the mountains and uh, down through Arizona and back. Hopefully I've wired everything correctly and we won't have any problems, but if we do, I'll let you know about it. So with that, uh, please leave comments, questions uh, below, and we'll see you on the road.